So first, let's go ahead and set up a email, which I already have in here. Um, so if you're in cPanel, okay, so in this window, we're going to head down to, uh, we'll be in cPanel, uh, we're going to head down to email accounts. Today we're going to work with the story of Michael, which is my uh, book that I'm writing. And so under uh, the storymichael.com, you would create your email, password, blah, 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 create account. Um, I've already done that. It's really easy to do, so I'm not going to uh, bore you with the details of that. Okay, so here are my current email addresses. Uh, so we're going to head down here to info at storymichael.com, um, go to more, and configure email client. Okay, so here we are and this is all the information you're going to need right here and this is usually what I send people when I set up an email account for them um, so this is your crucial information so now we're in Gmail um, as you can see there's some labels for uh, my different emails I've already had the info at storymichael.com as a uh, account so let's go into settings uh, account import okay so here are my email um, accounts down here using pop3 um, add a pop3 email account is what we're going to do today so here's the email address go to info at uh, the story michael.com hit next alright so now we got this window open let's take it over here for a second and uh, hit this okay so now we have that in there we can just copy this information to this information. So here's the email address, username, info, um, Michael.com, password. Um, I happen to know my password. I'm not going to tell you guys. Okay, so there's the email is correct, the incoming server report. Just make sure they all look correct. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory. Um, leave a copy of the messages on the server. Basically, that means that if you access your webmail through Bluehost, there you'll have a copy of the email on there as well as retrieved to your new Gmail client. Um, and if you want to use a secure uh, connection you can, but I would suggest reading a lot of the details. The easiest thing I like to do, and since I have a few emails set up with Gmail, is go to label incoming messages. So that way you can see what it's, you know, and you can actually assign a color to it later and stuff. Um, archive incoming messages that means it'll go straight to the folder without being in your inbox um, so you are going to probably not want to do that unless you just don't care okay and since I have already verified my uh, gmail account with um, the info at storymichael.com I don't have to verify it normally what you're going to have to do is once you go through that process it will send you a verification code to your info uh, at sarahmichael.com email so what you're gonna have to do is go into Bluehost and from this from the mail client screen press go back and you're gonna want to from that same drop down menu from info at sarahmichael.com you're gonna want to go access web mail um, so here you enter in your password just pick one of the any of the email places. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so what you if you haven't verified your email client yet, you're going to have to go to your inbox or check mail. But since I've already done that, it's not going to show up here for me. And you'll get a little code. It should it'll just be a bunch of numbers, and uh, you'll still have the the window open from Gmail, and you just enter in the numbers there and as soon as you do you'll see the same thing as I see here with all these different emails uh, lined up um, so that's it uh, thank you for watching uh, you can find me at davidblainstudios.com and uh, kinda of visit my site and check it out I'd like to hear back from you guys thanks